Hey guys, uh, I've been using a product that Sog sent me for the past few weeks. It's the uh, Sog Camp Axe, and it's the second of the uh, hatchet, you know, uh, tomahawk style tools that they have sent me. Uh, the first one was the Sog uh, Voodoo Mini Hawk, I think it was, or Mini Voodoo Hawk. Anyways, I've been using this one for about a year. I obviously painted it up. It used to be black, but I wanted it to be a little more camo because it's next to my ruck all the time, and I added some uh, tape down there for some grip. But overall, I mean, this one's been excellent. I don't really see or have any issues with it. I've used it to cut, I've used it to strike, I've used it for a variety of things, prying open crates, you know, you name it. And it's done just fine uh, for what I need to do. I haven't had to sharpen it at all or anything like that. So it's pretty good. Camp Axe is no exception. And honestly, it has a lot of the same build quality as this one. I mean, uh, you know, First things first, it's 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 quite a bit uh, smaller and that's a little uh, less you know aggressive looking, which you know doesn't really matter to me because I don't really find myself using this little uh, spike too much anyways. But uh, you know, first things first, uh, compared to this, the one improvement I really like or one design feature that I really like is the sheath. So this sheath, I'm not really a big fan of these. I know a few of their other you know tomahawks kind of come with this. It's just like kind of a junky reinforced nylon with a button snap. You have to go in through the top and it has this kind of cruddy belt loop, which I mean, I don't know why anybody would ever use it. So I usually find myself ended up zip tying through these little rivets or, uh, you know, retainer banding it to whatever it is that I need to use. So I think it was a good riddance on this one um, to have just a little polymer uh, cover for the blade. And it's as easy as flip it open that tab, sliding this off and boom, you're good to use. So this isn't really designed to be, you know, a quick get to last ditch weapon. And I mean, honestly, a tomahawk, I know you guys reading the news about everybody carrying tomahawks. I don't yet to uh, really witness somebody having a quick release tomahawk that they actively use as their secondary weapon anyway. So I would kind of eliminate that from uh, <laughs> my sidearms if I was you, but so overall, you know, we'll, we'll go over some of the features. Uh, also comes on the back of the cart it comes with. The weight is 16.1 ounces, so right around a pound. And it's uh, quite a bit noticeably uh, lighter than the Mini Voodoo Hawk. Um, the handle's glass filled, or glass reinforced nylon, same as this. Uh, really durable, will deal good with strikes and uh, allows enough flex in there. So where if you're striking hard objects, this isn't gonna snap at any moment. Um, the overall length is 11.5 inches, so it's not super noticeable. I mean, you could attach this to the back of a plate carrier, or, uh, to the side of your kit or ruck or whatever, and it would do fine. Blade length is three and a half inches. I mean, you could split wood, do whatever you need to do. Um, and then this back part, which I actually like better than this spike, is flattened for a hammer, so you could use it either way. I mean, you could hammer things in like this, or if you're trying to split a piece of wood that's maybe a little tough, kind of hammer the back of this. Um, blade steel is two C CR13. Uh, I'll be honest, the only blade steels I really am super knowledgeable about is S30V and 154CM. I know those are kind of standard for most knives, um, but in terms of this, I mean, the steel, I've chopped through a bunch of things with it, haven't had any issues, no chips or burrs in the blade at all. Um, so, you know, guys, I, I mean, I could do a whole demo about, you know, watch me chop through this piece of wood and watch me split this and hammer that. I don't think I really need to insult your intelligence by doing that. I mean, it it's a cheap product. It works well. And um, I think if, if you have a need for something like this or a chopping or cutting tool, uh, this would serve you pretty well and be a lightweight addition uh, to your outdoor package or tactical package, whatever you may be. Uh, this one will be painted eventually. I intend on switching this one out uh, with this one to the side of my ruck to kind of be my go-to, uh, I guess, patrol based tool. But uh, yeah, overall, if I mean, if you're looking for a good hatchet, uh, check out the Sog Camp X.